come inside me. The Ratchet and Clank reboot was really disappointing, and I don't mean to say I did not expect to not dislike it all that much, question mark? It's a letdown more so because it's shit. Since the original is one of my favorite classics, today we're gonna be going, come and oh, <laughs> I think before I crash this ship with no survivors, it's worth it for me to address two little critiques. Number one, cock. Number two, penis. So let's get to it. Ratcheting Ratchet was a game. They made a few thousand sequels, and now 14 years later we have Clank and Clank for the PlayStation 4. A built from the ground up reboot that tramples all over my favorite game. Okay, okay, okay. But seriously, I'm coming. Ratchet and Clank 2016 is about some dork who meets some normie. They instantly save the universe from the big game and never look or speak to each other again. The game has themes, I guess, but most people in the title are just there to buy a pixel Oh, so you boot up the game and immediately it starts to become clear that something isn't quite raw with this game. Something doesn't seem raw. I'll give you two guesses as to why that might be. Ding ding. And remember, you can do anything. Yeah, okay. As Ooh. long as you're <laughs> me. The opening of the first game was so simple and concise. Ratchet's trying to ship. Man, he looks upset when he can't. Roll credits. But of course, Clank is already saying random bollocks right after being born like five minutes ago. If you cannot see the importance of lights, you do have problems. Great, was that dialogue worth it? No. Go, go, go! Stop! Ratchet's motivation for going on an adventure in this game is so fucking retarded. I need to go to the tryouts to become a Galactic Ranger, it's my dream. This random robot needs to tell the Galactic Rangers about a threat, it's my dream. I'm gonna lie about my dream, it's my dream. So that's all we're stuck with. Uh, Look, I get it right, I'm harping on about Crash Bandicoot. Maybe only I care about this baby boy Crash Bandicoot game. But holy shit, I'm Crash Bandicoot. I am Clank. This is a nigger. I'm Clank and this is a gay nigger. Oh yeah, great chemistry, really building up the relationship here. One of the most iconic characters in the series is the plumber. He's this guy who fucking sucks. The first cutscene where you meet him in the original game is pretty great. <laughs> look, plumber's crack. I said, look, the plumber's crack. All right. Shush. It's punchy, funny, and fills us in on the secrets of the universe and the meaning of life. So of course, in this new game, it's this weird shit. Cause I'm getting a touch of the old deja vu. Deja vu. I just been to uh, I don't think so. Drek Industries is Drek Industries! Drek Industries is not Drek Industries. Wow, what a cunt who will stop this crazy satire. You see, the reason Drek is looking to destroy planets, to take their parts, to build a new world, is because the home of his people, the boy, was contaminated with Game Boys, and he wants to create a new one. But at the end, right in the middle of the beginning, the truth is revealed. There must be another way to make your people's brains function properly. You think that's what this is about? Who do you think polluted the game? It's our last world. I did, Seaman. What a piece of trash. What are you? Mercenaries? Torturers? Assassins? Sir, we are assassins. Skid McMarks is in trouble. We gotta get to Iridia. Hey, wait a minute, Clank already has the high- Agreed! They're making a game based on a game? But they haven't even consulted me! You might think this is an attempt to find Captain Quark a GF, but no, at the end, Clank screws every woman in the galaxy- That's right, I am the man. So we finally have a working ship to travel to different planets with, and... Oh... So something that I really liked about the original game was fisting robot girls. Mmm, very sexy. That idea has been flushed down the drain here. So here we are at one of the most iconic levels from the original. Ratchet's asshole. What? Oh yeah, this again. I've come and gone to pixel heaven. <laughs> Nerd. I like the economy. Look at this schmuck, he's not even game. In the original game, every character asked for sex. How about I stop your cock? Peeps gotta get laid. Ah, oh, I remember this part. Ratchet takes out his giant spanner and sticks it up big ass, big ass. What? I mean, what is the point of the point of the point of the- In the first game, you could collect coordinates to different planets and sometimes go to them. Let's see if you can do it in this one just for the kicks. Oh. Guess not. Skid McNugget, I have seen everyone you met. These cutscenes are the worst. They're so bad. It's him, Skid McMarks. That man from the Infobot. In the dude in flesh! How do they take the boisterous charm and animation of the characters in the original and turn it into this? Ugh, oh. Nobody makes eye contacts. Like, everyone's got, like, problems. 
If you can take out all the sand sharks, I just might. might. We'd love to kill you, Mr. McMarks, but Ratchet and I need to find Captain. Shh. Look at you! Yeah. Why does everyone in this game have a penis? Even the chicks. You wouldn't see Dante using a dick anytime soon, I tell you that much. No. Fuck. Ratchet. This is not a pair of Magna Boots. What do you know about Magna Boots? You spent this whole time looking for Pokemon. You don't know anything about anything. I know that you will search the area for Skid's agent. Stop telling me what to do! Hey, Nebula G34 is next, which means you guessed it. It's time for this funky beat. <laughs> Nebula G34 itself is just another level. Who cares? At this point, Ratchet realized he was the free. Except how, Quark? Why would he know he can't breathe underwater unless you remind him every time? Try as he might, Ratchet could not buy a pixelizer. Collect trading cards. Immunicritus, immunicritus, immunicritus. Super fighting robot. You tried to leave my rangers alone. You said you'd kill them. Oh, 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 what, what, what? What a trick. Are we looking at the next Skid McMarks here? Umbris is another planet that gets conquered. Originally, it was a sort of big city slider station. Instead, now it's flipping and flopping. Wait a minute, this is a video game, right? Maybe we should talk a bit about combat. It sucks. I'm done. <laughs> Gaston's up next, and this planet has seen a lot of changes. A lot of things do remain the same, but a lot of things are not the same. They're different. Whoa. And now to create a tuna sandwich. Weirdly, Battalia is now snowy instead of rainy. I feel like in remaking this title, there was a real missed opportunity to change everything for no reason at all. It's cool to see at least a little of this great idea implemented here. Ratchet, <laughs> am I cool now? <laughs> no. It was around about now in the original game that the plumber viciously murdered the duo and Ratchet was extremely mad at Clank for sending him to hell. I wonder what that info bot is for. Maybe it can- So, uh, what's happening in this game now, though? All those in favor of eating brains, say I. I. All those in favor of sucking massive penis, say nan. Man, real tired of these niggers. You know they showed up just as I was about to speak on a panel about everything. Oh, I hate everything. As mentioned before, Hoven also got the cut. It's not in this reboot because it was blown up in five minutes. <laughs> I'll miss you, Hoven. In this review, when I say something along the lines of, holy shit, you're right, faggot, that's usually a compliment, because you guessed it. I don't care, lol, lol. Quartu in the original was also home to one of the best scenes in the game. I will try to make you proud, Mom. Oh, uh, I, um... So what do they do in the reboot version? Oh my. Not that brute again. Another level that wasn't updated was Green Hill Zone. This was a really neat level. It had these robot bad guys, you had to figure out how to take them out, and these weird gold rings. But they didn't even bother trying to shoehorn it into this game. It's just sad, man. What a waste. Oh, I was, oh, got a bit distracted there. Yeah, um, kind of like the original, they need to jack off the CEO of Gadgetron. Uh, I, 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 uh... Do I get a discount on gadgets now? No. Don't give it another thought! Turns out, what the CEO really wants is a big stake. You lose. Here's where we see this weird plot twist where the quark from the original shows up and stabs himself with his key blade, creating a heartless quark and a nobody quark. Okay. And then Dr. Nefarious hums in and immediately kills both of them. They're out of the game, bye. Like, okay, it's one thing to roast beef, but who lets the main villain's balls get stomped on by some alien fuck who's barely in the game? Uh -hmm. In the movie, Nefarious and his nefarious backstory is given a little more nefarious explanation. Apparently, black people pissed him off so he shit into his mouth. Nice origin story. Can you imagine? Cheers. I can only assume how this creative meeting went. Oh yeah, and that's where the game stops. Uh, so now for the important parts. How many cocks could I fit inside my ass? Did anyone laugh at this? Like a friend of mine who's also been in these trenches once said, This series was sus 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 sus. You turn a dream into a meme, and then of course everyone is gonna kill each other. And despite the PS4 still having no games, one game with the same name is definitely worse than the other. That's why, as I said, the fire rises. If you've sat through this awful white heat peak, then you've probably come to at least one conclusion. I sure do love making stupid and funny jokes. And after all,
Isn't that the moral of this whole series? Thank you. Okay, that's it. What'd you say? Uh, nothing.